I heard they checking for me, no one checking on me So I had to go run up a check I got the message on me, ain't no flexing on me My attorney gon' call and collect Blessings on blessings for me My success has only made them envious, they got upset I had to put all their egos in check Boys, another big claim here Guys, supply and demand traders are wrong They're fucking stupid Everybody who trades that style is doing things wrong usually uh, there are some exceptions here obviously and people are doing things right in some cases but generally the knowledge that i'm seeing on supply and demand trading is wrong your stop placements are wrong and there's a possibility of looking at it in a different manner that's really going to help you decipher a better way to enter into your trades looking at a given chart right so why is supply and demand trading wrong this is another thing that's uh, very similarly tied to the smc traders smart money concept traders and again if you think that you're smart just because you use something that's called smart you're quite the opposite my friend and if you're using something that is used by just everybody else when everybody else is losing then what do you think is gonna happen well everybody loses and you are the same as everybody so let's look at a different way to look at supply and demand rather than just entering on the levels and let's see if we can actually adapt to a better trading style and take advantage of how the larger players are taking advantage of you so the first thing that we want to just note is usually the supply and demand traders they look at these levels uh, that are in my mind untested levels the basic supply and demand trading where there is what some people call an FVG where it is a large move and generally this is how I used to view it um, largely uh, a lot of the population views it as well is these large moves really move so quickly that anyone that had those uh, levels uh, for entry uh, got kind of left in the dust and we're going to explain that in a second here on the chart so that when it comes back down to that level naturally there's going to be a lot of limit orders resting there and naturally we're going to try to front run those and get into a trade before they do so why is this wrong is uh, because there's actually a better way to look at it we can look at the candle bodies of untested levels that's how we should be looking at it the candle bodies of untested levels can be the high or the low the open or the close of the candle so not just the tops or the bottoms based off of the direction of the move not just that FVG fill, uh, but rather we're going to be using the levels and then determining which level is going to have an appropriate bounce off of it. And then we can take the trade. Let's look at it in the charts. Right. So first of all, I've pulled up a video here and I watched a good 10 seconds of it and skipped forward. Boys, so if you can see here, how has he drawn it? Well, his first problem is he's using the supply and demand off of uh, the wick here. We should be using the body. And as you can see, it actually goes to the body. The second thing to note is this was actually already a tested level. So it's gonna be weaker. You can see it was tested on this candle right here. So this guy's actually a moron. Say that with me. This guy is a moron. Right, perfect. Good job, class. Okay, we're learning along with the reading. Uh, what's up? What's up? What's something reading sesame book? I don't know. I'm trying to make a kid's joke here, guys. Anyways, so he's drawn this entire zone. Now, if we were to redraw that, we would be seeing the supply and demand level as this level right there, that tiny little wedge right there, and it tested it perfectly. Now, if, if we kind of skip forward and let's see if we can see him drawing another level and see if we can call something else wrong here. Let's look. Okay, so he seems to be roughly drawing it, but he's drawing it on the top of that wick there. It looks stupid in my opinion so the level that he's actually looking at here is the green body here where that's the level that's going to be retesting and now this one was not retested so this is a valid level still so that's the level that needs to be retested and as you can see the important part is we've actually closed back above the low of this red candle here so if you've drawn this properly we can say hey draw from this candle low of that red one why why this red one because that's the top of the pivot point and then the candle body open here and the close right so that's where we would draw it from and we can see that that actually reacted perfectly on that so it's still a valid setup and it's going to bounce off of that and that's a trade that we could take again this is uh not exactly supply and demand there's a level right here that was retested on that level uh, and I have no idea what the fuck he's drawing here. Again, he's using Wix and class. What did we just learn a second ago? This guy is a what? 
Good, good, a moron. He's a moron. He doesn't know how to trade. Perfect. Okay, good look, good work, class. Give yourself a pat on the back there. The level of interest is actually right here. And once again, that is the level that we just closed above. Let's drive into trading view and let's look at just the euro so that we can see anything here. I'm gonna pull up the four hour, four hours just a little bit cleaner and we can look along there. Now, class, where are the levels? Right. So the supply and demand levels that we were interested in handle bodies, right? You can see handle body. This is the level here, right? I'm just drawing these around randomly, right? Where did it hit right there? And then the rejection. Okay. And now I'm not going to be giving you guys your targets here, uh, but the very important thing to note with a lot of these levels are that it's often going to wick past. And I'm just seeing something right, right here. So, uh, so I can kind of draw it out there. If let's say this was a candle wick, uh, a, can, uh, a supply and demand zone, uh, we see the wick past it uh, and we're not necessarily just entering blindly. That's the important thing about supply and demand trading here is we're not gonna be entering them blindly because a lot of times we just wick past it and then go into the continuation back up, right? So here's an example where we've now closed above that level there, right? Here's the level. Let's draw our buy off of that. We came back down, that's the, the retest. And then we can see that we, we clearly, if any supply and demand trader, this is a, a huge problem that supply and demand traders have, they usually do something along these lines, right? They put the, the stop below those lows, and you can see quite clearly they're gonna be wicked up. So we really need to be watching for the candle closes. That's what's important. And you can target whatever you need to target there. Uh, that's not the important side. What I'm trying to teach you guys here, let's remove all those drawings. And we can see again, what happens? Every single time, candle body, kissed, and then retest back in the rally, right? Now that was retest once, the second retest, much weaker. It's gonna break down, okay? Much, much simpler. Maybe let's jump down to the five minute. Works on all time frames, boys. Let's go to the five minute right here. All right, so again, what's going on here? Now, we've actually broken, and we've broken above this level as well, right? So when we do come back and retest it, that's actually gonna be the level. We didn't actually come back and retest it until later on, so it's not really being a valid level anymore because we're actually breaking structure back to the other side, right? As you guys can see, we've broken structure, so we generally don't wanna be counter trend trading. But as you can see, that level did react properly off of there, and it wicked below. So this is the thing, again, a lot of people are gonna be trying to buy up that level. They're gonna be putting the stops below. They're gonna get stopped out by that little wick, right? Very, very common. And then it's gonna go, it's gonna be right on your stop perfectly because that's what they're gonna use as the momentum to shift the trend into the other direction. All right, let's look for um, maybe just one more here. Again, the short side, we can see, okay, we have a large move to the downside. And we don't always come back because we wanna retest the level. That's actually the closest one that we just broke. And we can see that we did actually end up breaking right back into that zone and then the rejection. Now, this is uh, because they actually ended up using this level right there because some of these levels were still untested and we still would have been valid all the way back up here. We could have retested here even and still been valid for that to continue. Once we're actually closing back above this level, then we're gonna be reversing the trend. Another example, here's a reversal. So that does, it works in reversals and continuation. You can look, look at it both reversals and continu continu continuation. Holy fuck, I can't speak, I talk way too fast. We can see the break above. Now let's see how do we draw out that level. This is the level, this is the level there. We kiss below it, so a lot of supply and demand traders. Once again, they're gonna do that. They're gonna put their stop here. They're gonna get wicked out, right, right at that low, wicked out of the low, or they're gonna put their stop down here and they're gonna make no R, you know what I mean? They're not gonna make any, the, any profit but we can see, okay, the reaction's perfect. And then we can enter in on that trade. We can target back up here, right? So we can do something along these lines. After we see that reaction, target back up here, solid four or five R, all right? Right, boys, uh, that's all I wanted to show you guys. We can see supply and demand trading is flawed. If you can use it as untested levels of the highs and the lows of the candle bodies, this is gonna be much more valuable to you. Don't think of it as supply and demand. Use it, think of it as untested levels, okay? Retest those levels, go back into the continuation, and see if you can snake a little bit of profit. Don't be placing the trades blindly because then you're gonna get stopped out. There's a lot of manipulation in this market. You need to be safe. Protect yourself, be safe guys. I'll see you guys next time, Hunter FX. Link in the description if you wanna get funded, uh, maventrading.co.